Good morning. Welcome back. 615 right now as we begin the first week of slowly reopening Alabama. More and more people will be out on the roads and have been out on the roads this past weekend. And joining us by phone right now this morning is uh, with Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, Senior Trooper Chuck Daniel. Trooper Daniel, good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you so much for calling in this morning. Uh, let's start off with, you know, we're starting to see traffic pick back up. What are the big concerns you have as Alabama starts to get back to work on the roadways? You know, I, I really hope that uh, everybody doesn't try to, you know, get out and go to the beach all at the same time. I know people have been cooped up for the past month. And, you know, over the last couple of days, we had um, a noticeable uh, uptick in, in travel, especially on I-65 in the area that, you know, I patrol and I, in the area I live in. And, you know, it's the same message that we always have. And, People have to uh, take to the roads and use caution because um, one very positive side of you know having a month of uh, fewer vehicles on the road is we're you know we're about a thousand crashes under what we were last year so you know that is something you know we would really hope would continue but uh, we know that there's going to be a lot of people hitting the roads to. Mm -hmm. To go back to work, to go to the beach, to, to just to get out, you know, from being at this safer at home order or being at this stay at home order that we've had for a week. I mean, excuse me, a month. Mm -hmm. Right. So, well, absolutely. Well, we have that, and people don't understand yeah. how quickly it kind of you can kind of forget just the basic stuff. If you haven't been out driving around, it, it's kind of like relearning that skill that you've always had. Well, you know, it's. It's a pretty simple formula to to have a safe trip wherever you're going to the grocery store to the beach, and that is first of all um, when you before you leave you you make sure everybody's restrained in the vehicle and and then when you're on the road you're following the rules of the road you're you're, you're doing the speed limit you're focused on driving and uh, you know we just we we ask that people um, just truly pay attention and focus. Uh, in these first, you know, few days and weeks that we get back into a full, um, you know, full regimen of what we're used to doing, at least we hope it's going to be that way because uh, we're, we're hoping things are going to uh, go back to normal here in the next month. Absolutely. Just uh, mostly be mindful of the laws out there. I was traveling down south, Trooper, this weekend. And a lot of volume out there, as you were mentioning. So, But we want to turn right now, real quickly, we have about uh, 60 seconds to go, uh, motor related, uh, motor vehicle related business. How about your offices uh, asking people to set up appointments for, for curbside service? Talk to us through that very quickly as far as like renewals, tag changes, that kind of thing. Well, Aaliyah is formulating a plan on, you know, reopening our DL offices. And, um, you know, right now that plan has not been completed, so they're not really rolling that out yet. But there is a plan to gradually reopen our driver's license offices. Uh, they wanted me to relay uh, one note that, you know, if you can do your business online, they're encouraging you to do your business online. You know, take advantage of those services, and uh, it'll happen. It's just, you know, trying to get a good, safe plan to um, that's going to be efficient and functional uh, at the driver's license offices is taking a little time to formulate. So, you know, they're working on that plan, and it's going to happen, and uh, we've been patient this long. We just need to be patient a little bit longer with the driver's license services. Okay, fair right. enough. Alabama Law Enforcement Agency tr uh, Senior Trooper Chuck Daniel, thank you so much for your time this morning. You're welcome. Thank you. You bet. Uh, time right now, 620.